Batch processing in Geometric Control X is a utility that allows a user to easily run multiple 3D scans through the same inspection team or program. This is great if you have an operator scanning and saving data of a sample of parts from a production run and then sending all those files to be inspected while he or she goes to lunch or goes and moves on to another task. I have 17 identical gas valve demonstration parts 3D scanned, post-processed, and saved as STLs to a folder on my laptop. I also have a Control X project containing an inspection program that will align the incoming scan data to the CAD reference file and then perform 3D and 2D color mapping and analyze some dimensions and GD&T callouts. You can invoke the batch processor from the menu, tools, batch process dropdowns, or in Control X 2023 onwards, we'll have this easier to find on a new automation tab in the ribbon, along with some other tools, including visual scripting. The batch processor is broken into four sections, the measure data manager, where input files are added, the target result to select between result tabs if you have more than one, the export option, where a report can be exported in a variety of formats, including saving the full Control X project file with each scan for further analysis. And finally, an export location and file naming convention. I have mine set up to save a PDF report for each file in a subfolder of the scan data directory, as well as writing an XML file for each that I can feed into a trend analysis report later on. Depending on how I scanned and saved my parts, I'll either add the files themselves or the folder they're collected to into the batch processor. If my scans are composites where multiple meshes or point clouds comprise a single part, like if it was scanned on a turntable stage in six or more different shots, we could use the grouping functions on the bottom here. This is similar to single and multi-source data in the automation server. So with my files added, I can go ahead and run this batch process and watch the PDF and XML files get created for each of my 17 measurement files. Each of the input files was between 20 and 40 megabytes or about 600,000 polygons each, so fairly small, and the batch processor completed all 17 analyses in a little under six minutes. Once all of the reports are generated, the XMLs can be uploaded to the trend analysis tool here to see the variability of the comparisons and dimensions of the parts throughout the production run. And there you have it, batch processing. Of all the automation tools in Control X, this is definitely the simplest to use, and it's a great productivity tool for repeated measurements. Thanks for watching.